I'm going to walk you through the example in problem 8 because it involves some pretty complicated steps on your calculator and I'd like you to have a visual to go along with the text on the screen. So the uh, information that we're presented with is a population decay set of data in a given state after t years. So this is the table that we're looking at. We're going to be asked to use the exponential regression feature of our calculator to write a model for this situation. So we need to get these data into our calculator. We're going to use the steps outlined here. So I'm going to press the stat key, which is on the second row, then edit is first, and enter. I can press enter and that gets me to edit. So it, I see my list, my L1 and my L2. So I'm going to enter the values for t into list L1. So there's 5, 10, 15. I'm going to go ahead and arrow down. Then I'm going to arrow across to get to L2, and I'm going to enter those values into the calculator as well, using the down arrow to go from one to the next. So the table I have generated in my calculator now looks like the table that you see in your packet here. Notice that the values for L2 are entered in scientific notation. That's because there's not enough space in L2 column to display the numbers all the way across. If you want to see what a given number actually is in its entirety, you can use the arrow keys to go up and down and the number will display here in the bottom. Now that we have those data points in our calculator, we need to use them to write our model. So we're going to follow the steps here under STAT, and then I'm going to go one to the right, which is CALC. I'm looking for EXPREG, which is exponential regression. It's item number 10 at the very bottom. I'm going to press ENTER, and then ENTER again. The information presented here will allow me to write my model replacing A and B with the values shown on the screen. I need to be careful and round these as indicated in the problem. If I round appropriately and put the problem into Y and X form, it's going to look like this. If I change it to P of T form to match my data, I'm going to get the model that you see here.